Next to productions, your video, the kind of cinematic, colorized look, almost kind of darker. And there is an easy way to do this and, and, a, and a really hard way to do this. But the hard way is a lot better, but it's not that hard. So, as you can see, we have our little effects filter over here. So, the easy way to do it would be to go down into your filters and go to Leech Bypass. But that would be so dark. But it would give you the it would be so dark. Like you couldn't see anything. So I've decided to show you the really hard way. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna edit and we're gonna copy your whatever clip you have. Now I'm going to paste it right here. And now I'm gonna put this exact same clip above the one I already have. So now we're gonna do a little blending right here with your clip. So we're going to place on this clip, we're going to go up to your video settings. And we're going to go all the way down into this compositing thing where the opacity is. We're going to go this. Oh, see, it's already already making a difference. So now what we're going to have to do, we're going to go down here. And we're going to go to color correction one. And we're going to press this little arrow. Now, as you can see, we have color, we have saturation, we have exposure. So... What you really want to do, you, you just want to go to saturation, most likely. That's what you really want. So, for one, you're going to take this little bar, as you can see, you're going to put it all the way down. Now, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to raise the black up or down, depending on the footage. But I'm just going to put it up. And you're going to put the white down. And you're going to raise the middle, either bottom or down, wherever you want to go with it. So, you're right here. I'm just going to do it up. So, now that... I'll just show you what we got so far. And believe me, we're almost done. Play this. <laughs> so you already got the cinematic kind of film look. It's a little darker than I expected. But, you know, that's how it works. So we're going to go to color. And see, whatever we're going to do here. So we're going to give it that more cinematic film. We're going to take this little black dot right in color. We're going to bring it more to the blue side around you know, where every... So, oh, see? So if you go more to dark colors or you go more to lighter colors, it's going to still have the same effect look, but it's going to be still some two different options here to go. So I'm just going to go with... Well, I think we should go with a little more bluish type of color. So I'm just going to leave it right there above the line. And now you can see at your... So that was our finished footage, and yes, if you're wondering, that was Mr. Danny Boy two four one three, and my brother Dan. He was stair sledding with his friend, and a darker cinematic film look. So um, thanks for watching. Now there's one thing I have to add to this. It really depends on down the black down, and you should definitely probably put maybe the exposure. You probably just don't want to go all the way down, probably, because that would be a great idea with this little bar. Don't go all the way down if it's not good footage like that. All right, so thanks for watching this Final Cut Pro X tutorial. Please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And um, ask me for more tutorials, more topics. I can do almost anything on this Mac. I can do uh, iMovie. I can do Kino. I can do Pages, anything. I can do Final Now. But there will probably be more apps I have, and they'll be coming in. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Ask me for more.